您现在收看的是华视教育文化频道。接下来要播出的是国际贸易英文。大家好，欢迎收看国际贸易英文 English for International Trade。我是主讲老师严燕珍 Lorna。今天要来介绍国际贸易英文里的第十六讲契约。在我们进入主题前，先来看看今天第十六讲契约的教学目标。本讲教学目标一，使学生了解在国贸英文里如何签订。国贸契约，二，学习撰写契约及协议书，三，了解契约信函及协议书常用句的用法，四，提升学生国贸书信写作能力，五，培养运用国贸英文书信社交及沟通能力。国际贸易的买卖交易过程里，双方都会经过。协议，然后达到共识。当买卖双方达成协议后，就会成立契约，且需符合之法律的要件。因此呢，如果要让买卖进行顺利的话，我们需要了解如何制作贸易买卖契约。何谓买卖契约？交易涉及到价格谈判，在达成一个交易前。买方和卖方都会尝试着去达到双方最理想的价格。以国际销售和采购的例子来讲，交付和接收货物的情况下是跨越国际边界，因此呢，双方明确同意谁负责运费、保险费和交付，甚至运输和交货点都是非常重要的。在国际贸易中，介于出口商和买家之间的接触是很少有面对面的，所以契约的目的是用于销售的产品从企业到企业，而不是终端客户。该契约应确定所售的产品数量、价格、付款方式、品质标准和交付条件。除了商品和价格的详细资料外，销售契约通常也明确地说明交易条件，例如保险、运输方式、运费成本等等。交易条件决定是否出口商或买家去承担责任、费用和每个阶段的业务交易风险。虽然许多贸易条件似乎。不言自明的或容易理解，但他们很容易成为出口商和买家之间分歧的根源，除非他们被仔细的界定。而付款的细节详细指明出口商将如何被支付款项，以及他们需达到什么样的条件下才能顺利的获得款项。因此呢？一份写得很好的贸易契约，应包括所有的相关的交易的资讯。贸易契约应应当写得很清楚明了，以避免呢有关的各种贸易术语上的任何误解。签订贸易契约的注意事项有哪些呢？我们来看看：一、注意契约内容的完整性。二、注意签约人的权限。三、注意契约条款的一致性。四、注意签约手续的完整性。接下来，我们来看一下国际贸易契约书的内容有哪些
。第一个部分呢，就是 title， 契约的名称。为了便于检索，契约书的正上方应该要标明契约的名称、契约书的名称及格式。可由双方当事人自己定定，这样让人一看就知道契约书所规范的内容是什么。二前文 preamble， 在契约的开头应明示的啊、呃、以下的几个项目，像是签订契约的日期 ，date of signing， 这部分就是契约开头所显示的日期为签约订约的日期。同时，也是签字的日期。第二个就是签订契约当事人名称及地址 （name and address of parties）。契约上呢，应该要列上双方当事人的名称及地址，同时也在其名称后注明是买方 （buyer） 或者是卖方 （seller） 的简称。三。契约主要内容就是 body of contract。契约的内容主要包含以下条件。第一个条件是品质条款 （quality terms）。第二个是数量条款 （quantity terms）。第三个价格条款 （price terms）。第四个包装条件 （packing）。第五个付款条款 （payment terms）。第六个交货条款 （delivery terms）， 第七个保险条款 （insurance terms）， 第八个就是结尾条款 （witness clause）。再来就是在契约书的最后面需由双方当事人签字，以表示契约签立完成。接下来我们来看看一些有关。契约及协议书的例子，第一个例子呢是有关购买协议书。看，我们来看看 William 跟 Tiffany 要告诉我们些什么呢 ？Hi William. Oh, hey Tiffany. How was your department gathering last Friday? It was great. Our boss was very happy with the numbers for the second quarter. That's amazing. Thanks. By the way, did you know that we are going to start our plastic production in the beginning of next month? Yeah, I heard about it. Do you know、um, any companies that can provide us with good raw material quality with reasonable price? Hmm. Let me think. I had a really good business experience with、uh, Mr. Kyle last month. I found that the quality of the materials was good. And he offered us a really reasonable price. That sounds very attractive. Yes, definitely. I will report this to Jason later. If we decide to purchase from Mr. Kyle, I might need your help with to write with the purchase agreement letter to him. Sure, no problem. Thanks, William. You're welcome. Oh, and by the way, before I send the letter, we need to go over the details of the terms and conditions of the agreement as well. Yes, absolutely. Okay, oh, and I have to get going. I have to get to another meeting.、Uh, talk to you again soon. Yep. See you later. See you. 好的，同学，为了在更清楚的了解 William 跟 Tiffany 的对话内容，我们就再来看一次吧。Hi, William. Oh, hey, Tiffany. How was your department gathering last Friday? It was great. Our boss was very happy with the numbers for the second quarter. That's amazing. Thanks. By the way, did you know that we are going to start our plastic production in the beginning of next month? Yeah, I heard about it. Do you know、um, any companies that can provide us with good raw material quality with reasonable price? Tiffany 呢，走过来跟 William 啊、呃、讲一下，说：“你知道我们我们的公司啊、呃，很快的开始要做一个塑胶的生产了吗？”那 William 说：“啊、呃、，Yeah， 好像听说 That's awesome。”
那这时候 Tiffany 就问 William 说：“你，请问你知道有哪些厂商他提供呃好的原料，而且呢，呃，也提供了好的价钱给我们呢？”我们继续看下去。Hmm, let me think. I had a really good business experience with、uh, Mr. Kyle last month. I found that the quality of the materials was good, and he offered us a really reasonable price. That sounds very attractive. Yes, definitely. I will report this to Jason later. If we decide to purchase from Mr. Kyle, I might need your help with to write with the purchase agreement letter to him. William 想一想以后呢，他就说，哦，我记得，呃，上次呢，我有跟 Mr. Kyle， 呃，有做过了一笔交易。那我觉得 Mr. Kyle 提供的这些原料的品质是蛮好的，而且呢，也给了一个 reasonable price， 很合理的价钱。那 Tiffany 说，哦，那如果是这样的话呢，那我来跟 Jason 讲讲看。如果我们决定呢，要再跟 Mr. Kyle 购买的话，那是否可以请你写一封啊、呃、购买协议信给 Mr. Kyle？ 继续往下看。Sure, no problem. Thanks, William. You're welcome. Oh, and by the way, before I send the letter, we need to go over the details of the terms and conditions of the agreement as well. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, and I have to get going. I have to get to another meeting.、Uh, talk to you again soon. Yep. See you later. See you. Now William 说，好啊，当然可以了。我可以来写一封 purchase agreement letter 给 Mr. Kyle。但是呢，在寄这封信出去之前呢，我可能要找一个时间跟你 go over， 就是再讨论一下里面的一些条款啊、uh, ，terms and condition。那 Tiffany 说 ：“OK， 没问题。”好的，那接下来我们来看一下 William 他如何写这封 Purchase Agreement Letter。Dear Mr. Kyle, we are glad to inform you that we have decided to purchase all sorts of raw material for our plastic production. We have found that the quality of your materials is good. And you are able to offer a really reasonable price. That is the most attractive part of this deal, and we believe that we have found an opportunity here. We are looking forward to having a long-term business relationship with you. Attached is the detail of terms and conditions for the agreement. Please let us know If there are any comments and feedback since we are going to start our production in the beginning of next month, we would like to hear from you as soon as possible. Sincerely yours. 好的，接下来我们来看一下这封信件里的几个单字。Attractive， 有吸引力的，引人注目的。Deal， 交易。来，我们来了解一下呢这封信的中文意思。Dear Mr. Kyle, 亲爱的凯尔先生 ，We are glad to inform you that we have decided to purchase all sorts of raw materials for our plastic production. 我们很高兴地通知您，我们已决定购买各种原物料作为我们的塑胶生产。We have found that the quality of your materials is good. And you are able to offer a really reasonable price. 我们发现您材料的品质不错，并且能在合理的价格内提供原料。That is the most attractive part of this deal, and we believe that we have found an opportunity here. 这是这笔交易中最吸引人的部分。我们相信我们已经在这找到一个机会。We are looking forward to having a long-term business relationship with you. 我们期待着与您有长期的业务关系。Attached is the detail of terms and conditions for the agreement. 附上协议的条款、细节与条件。Please let us know if any comments and feedback. 
。如果有任何意见和呃反馈，请让我们知道。Since we are going to start our production in the beginning of next month, we would like to hear from you as soon as possible. Sincerely yours. 由于我们将在下个月初开始我们的生产，我们希望尽早听到您的意见。诚挚的问候。OK， 上一封书信呢是购买协议信，那信里有特别说明协议的条款、细节与条件在附件中。接下来我们来看另一个 sales and purchase contract， 就是销售契约的例子。我们来看看 William 跟 Tiffany 要来告诉我们些什么。Hello, this is William. Hi, William. This is Tiffany. Hey, Tiffany. How may I assist you? I'd like to thank you for writing to Mr. Kyle. He really provided us with a very good price quote. <laughs> ah, sure. He's a nice and friendly guy. Yes, I can tell. Well, I also want to ask you if you have a copy of Jimmy and Lila's sales and purchase contract. I'd like to take a look at it. Okay. Give me one second. I'll check. Ah、uh, yes, I found it. I'll email it to you soon. I really appreciate your assistance. Not at all. Feel free to let me know if you have any other questions. Okay, I will. All right, bye. Bye. 在对话里，我们得知 Tiffany 去跟 William 要了一份合约的副本。接下来，我们再来看一下这个合约的内容是什么。Hello, this is William. Hi, William. This is Tiffany. Hey, Tiffany. How may I assist you? I'd like to thank you for writing to Mr. Kyle. He really provided us with a very good price quote. <laughs> ah, sure. He's a nice and friendly guy. Tiffany 打个电话给 William， 跟 William 说啊，谢谢你啊，帮我们寄了一封信给 Mr. Kyle。那 Mr. Kyle 真的提供给我们很好的价格。William 说没问题。啊、uh, ，而且呢，啊、uh, ，William 说，因为 Mr. Kyle 是一个很好的人 ，He's a nice guy。我们继续看下去。Yes, I can tell. Well, I also want to ask you if you have a copy of Jimmy and Lila's sales and purchase contract. I'd like to take a look at it. Okay, give me one second. I'll check. Ah,、uh, yes, I found it. I'll email it to you soon. I really appreciate your assistance. Not at all. Feel free to let me know if you have any other questions. Okay, I will. All right, bye. Bye. 这时 ，Tiffany 呢就请问 William 说：“请问你那里还有一份有关 Jimmy 跟 Lila 的 sales and purchase contract 的副本吗？”那 William 说：“哦，有有找到了。”那我再把它啊、呃、寄到你的信箱里。那接下来呢，我们来看一下啊、呃、这个 Jimmy 跟 Lila 的 sales and purchase contract 销售契约的内容有哪些。Contract for sale of equipment. Date. June twelfth, twenty sixteen, between Jimmy's Enterprise Co. Here and after referred to as the seller, who registered office is at seven eight eight seven Elliott Avenue, Seattle, Washington, USA, and agree to sell. And Lila's Enterprise Co. Here and after referred to as the buyer. Whose registered office is at number eight 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 Fuxing Street, Taipei, Taiwan, and agree to buy the following goods on the terms and conditions below. Both parties declare an interest in the sale and purchase of goods under the present contract and undertake to observe the following agreement: commodity, frozen yogurt equipment, quality. 
as per sample number JL0917, dated May 27th, 2016. Quantity, 500 units. Price, 1,600 US dollars per unit. CIF, G lung. Total amount, 800,000 US. Packing, brown carton box and export wooden box. Means of payment. By Prime Bankers Irrevocable Site LC in seller's favor for 100% value of goods. Delivery conditions. The seller shall deliver the products to number 377 Fuxing Street, Taipei, Taiwan, under conditions in co term. Shipment to be shipped on or before July 15, 2016, subject to acceptable LC. Reach seller before the beginning of August 2016. And partial shipment allowed, transshipment allowed. Insurance. The prices mentioned herein are all based upon the current rate of freight and or war and mentioned marine insurance premium. Any increase in freight and or insurance premium rate at the time of shipment shall be for buyer's risk and account. Seller reserves the right to adjust the prices mentioned herein. If prior to delivery there is any substantial increase in the cost of raw material or component parts. Seller shall arrange marine insurance covering ICC A and institute strikes clauses cargo for 110% of full invoice value and provide for claim, if any, payable in Taiwan with U.S. currency. Signed on the 12th day of June for and on behalf of the supplier and purchaser as follows. The buyer, Lila's Enterprise Co. The seller, Jimmy's Enterprise Co. Manager signature, manager signature. 好，那我来做一下简单的讲解，有关这封销售啊设备合约。首先呢，我们会在这个销呃合约上呢，先注明卖方的呃名称及他的地址，就是吉米企业有限公司。在接下来呢，会写上啊买方的名称。莱拉企业有限公司以及他们的公司的地址。接下来就是内容的部分，要标上买方与卖方承诺遵守协议有哪些呢？像是第一个，商品就是 commodity； 第二个 ，quality 品质；第三个，写上数量 quantity； 第四个 ，price 价格。第五个 packing 包装，第六个 means of payment 就是付款方式。再来第七个呢，就是 delivery condition 交货条件。第八个 shipment 寄送方式。在第九个 insurance 保险。最后呢，会在结尾的地方写上呃当天签的签约的日期，有 buyer 跟 seller。名字都要写上去。好的，啊、呃，接下来就是当我们收到呢对方寄来的协议书或合约书，在签字前必须认真的看清楚，如有需要修改的地方，要尽快跟对方联系。接下来呢，我们来看看 William 跟 Tiffany 要一起处理什么样的问题呢？ Hey, William. Hey, Tiffany. Do you have a minute? Sure. Jessica just sent us a message today. She sent us her agreement, and this is a copy of it. Could you please take a look at it? Yeah, sure. This is our first time doing business with Jessica. I'm going to have to take a close look at this. Yes, you need to. I'll reply to her after I've read this. Thanks, William. Oh, New Year's is coming. I hope you have a great holiday. <laughs> That's right. Time for a vacation. I hope you have a good holiday too. Thanks. I'll see you later. Alright. Goodbye. Bye. 
Tiffany 过来找 William， 跟他说我们收到了一封 agreement letter， 呃，从 Jessica 那边寄来的。那可能需要你花点时间看一下。那看完以后呢，再告诉我们说要怎么样处理。所以接下来呢，我们来啊、呃、看看啊、呃、如何要告知对方说这封 agreement 里面有哪些地方是需要做修改的。我们来看一下。Dear Jessica, Happy New Year! What a surprise to get your message today. As most of our customers are on New Year holiday, your hard work will bring a great business success to ABC Group. We have known each other for several years, and both of us have a good reputation on the heating product category. Especially, you are a well-known leading company that we hope to work with. We would like to present you our product with good prices and services to build up a strong business relationship. Therefore, we would like to suggest simplifying the clauses of the agreement, concentrate on product development, and discuss more about design, quality, pricing, etc. Instead of using complicated clauses, we believe choosing the right partner is more important. Than signing the contract, this is the first time we cooperate with you. We will have to learn about each other's principles in order to build up a positive business relationship. We understand that the new project needs prompt process in order to catch up with the sales season this year. We made some comments on the important clauses for your review as enclosed. Please let us know. If you have any questions or comments, sincerely yours. Okay, we'll come to look at this letter in Chinese. Dear Jessica, Happy New Year! It's really a surprise to get the news today. Most of our customers are in the New Year season. Your hard work has brought a big success in the business of ABC Company's business. We are very happy to be here today. 我们已认识好几年了，而且都在电暖气商品产业上有很好的口碑。特别是您是知名的领先企业，我希望能和你合作。我们想对您展现我们的商品，伴随着好的价格与服务，并且建立一个强大的业务关系。因此，我们想建议简化协议的条款。专注于商品研发与讨论更多的有关设计、品质、价格等等的，作为替代使用这些条款。我们相信，选择正确的合作伙伴是比签订黑黑白纸更重要。这是我们第一次在业务上合作，我们需要了解彼此的原则来建立一个正向、积极合作关系。据我们了解，新的计划需要立即处理，以便能赶上今年的销售旺季。我们做了一些评论，在重要的条款上，请您看一看，并有任何宝贵意见，欢迎指教。诚挚的问候。今天我们契约信函的这一讲就讲到这边喽。下周我们再看看，当你试图去取得一项品牌的代理权。要如何撰写这类的信函？今天谢谢各位同学收看，希望我们下周准时再见喽，拜拜。